What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video bringing you another Dokkan Battle video. So today is finally the day that we showcase the leader of the Ginyu Force, the one and only Captain Ginyu. As you can see, he's already rainbowed, which we got done on my live stream earlier in the day. If you missed out, it's totally fine. We still got two more opportunities for you to grind the Ginyu Force with me, tomorrow with Jace and Raccoon the next day. For those of you who did watch though, those that tuned in, Thank you so much, a huge shout out to every single one of you, it was a lot of fun, and I hope to see all of you in my stream tomorrow as well. Now, what we're going to do with the boy Ginyu here is take him on a mono-type team like we did with Birder the day before, or two days before, and Galdold yesterday, because I want to see how these guys can perform outside of the Ginyu Force team. Obviously, they're best suited to the Ginyu Force team because they have links that work with each other, their passives, you know, play off each other and everything, but... We want to see if they can still be solid units, usable units, outside of that team on Mono Team. So today we're going to take Captain Ginyu on a Kid Buu led Extreme Int team and see how he does. I'm pretty hopeful, I'll be honest. Murder was like, pretty good. Galdo was quite mediocre, but today I am very hopeful for Captain Ginyu to do some good things for us on the Extreme Int team. Now, these are his stats as a rainbow unit. Not bad for a free-to-play player or... <laughs> Why do I keep saying free to play players? Because so many people in the comments say, hey, I'm free to play by the way. So now it's like stuck in my head. He's a free to play unit. But this is his leader skill. It's nothing special. His super attack is Milky Cannon, raises attack and causes supreme damage to enemy. That attack increase is 30% by the way. So after it stacks a couple times, it can get quite monstrous. And his passive is Model Fighter. It is key plus three attack and defense plus 70% when facing one enemy and then damage received minus 50% when facing two or more enemies. So he's kind of like a two-way player. He does both, you know, attack and defense depending on what the situation is. So he becomes quite a hard hitter when you're facing just one enemy and then he becomes pretty damn tanky when facing two or more. And you'll probably see it in this event. We're actually going to be taking on the LR Vegito event today because I know you guys are probably tired of seeing boss rush all day so we're gonna do something a little bit different a little bit more fun um his links actually no let's talk about his potential skills so i went with critical and uh additional attack and i believe this is the best way to build your game you can do whatever you want you can give him dodge if you want but i don't recommend it this is the best way to get the most damage out of him which is his main role on the ginyu force team um his links are you know mostly Ginyu Force centric, but he does have Shattering the Limit, which is awesome because, you know, sometimes he'll need key. And uh, this will be really, really helpful for getting those supers off because you guys want to see how much damage he can do with his supers. So we don't want him to not get them off. Anyways, let's just get started. The LR Vegito event is still fairly difficult. It's not the hardest one out there, but it can be challenging. So I brought some, um, you know, healing items, some damage reduction items and also a Ghost Usher just in case. But of course, we also had to bring the Dabura Cookie because we want to see what kind of nuking damage this Ginyu can do. So we're going to have some fun with that. But let's just make sure that we don't die in the middle of the showcase, right? So those other items will definitely help a little bit. Can we get... Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was like, yo, are they going to force me to land on a damage tile? Because that would be quite the dick move from Dokkan considering I'm doing a showcase right now. And uh, I spoke too soon because the dick move, the real dick move, was that they put Ginyu on the last uh, slot. So he's going to come back on the third rotation, which is very annoying. But you know what? It's fine. We'll deal with it. Let's see some damage from Buhan and Int Golden Frieza, I guess. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. I'll just be straight up. This is actually my third time, or third time filming the showcase. First time I died because I was doing the stage for uh tech angel ssj3 goku and <laughs> i i miscounted or like i wasn't paying attention and the guy killed me with his like finisher attack where if you don't kill him before he gets it off then it's an insta kill he did like 1.4 billion damage to me or something like that that's what it looked like it looked like 1.4 billion damage so i was like you know what i'll scrap that and the second time i filmed it my my uh content my like video i think for my face cam got corrupted and it was just so frustrating. But anyways, we're back now. Uh, Buhan and Golden Frieza took quite a chunk out of out of my boy um, Vegito. So where am I going to move on to the next stage before we actually get to Ginyu? But it's okay. It's okay because there's a lot of stages in this fight. So we'll still get a lot of opportunities to see what Ginyu can do. I took him on this stage specifically because I want to get like a realistic representation of what his damage numbers are. If we go on a stage with... 
type advantage, then the number is going to be inflated. If you go on a stage with type disadvantage, then the numbers are going to be deflated or understated, right? So this is the best way, in my opinion, to get a realistic representation of his damage. Um, I, I guess it doesn't really matter. He doesn't link with either of these, so we're just going to keep him in rotation. Give him some orbs and see what he can do. This is kind of like his, I guess, purest form because he has no links activated. He has uh, no buff from any support. So it's going to be 473k. Can we get a crit off? No crit, but 285k is not bad. Can he tank this though? Can he tank this at all? That, mm, that's actually solid. Yo, that's actually solid. I'm, I'm not going to lie. 85k from a LR Vegito attack is actually not too bad. And um, I'll take that. For a free-to-play unit especially, I'll take that. But look, the damage wasn't awesome. But remember, his damage does go higher and higher and higher with every super attack. So, you know, you know, it, it only gets better from here. It only gets better from here. Why don't we keep... Uh, what should I do here? Okay, I'll put Kid Boo in the front. And then I'm going to keep the cooler out of rotation. Because I want him to actually link up with the Ginyu. Hopefully, we get him to link up with the Ginyu before... Kid Buu and Golden Frieza take care of business. Yo, Kid Buu is a highly, highly underrated unit. A lot of people talk about him like he's not good, he's garbage. But look at that, he just did 2.6 million damage <laughs> on his super. Like, this guy is actually quite ridiculous. I know he had the double support and everything, but even regardless, even without that, he still does so much damage. He is very, very underrated, and the Extreme In team is also an underrated team overall. So if you guys have the units, and haven't run it yet then definitely give it a shot because honestly you will find out that it's a much better team than people give it credit for the only issue with kid Buu is that you know he hits really hard but he doesn't have any key links so getting super attack off or super attacks off will be a little bit difficult at times so we have 500k attack stat now can we get a crit here yeah we do okay 533k not bad not bad on the lr vegeto event and then Kid Buu goes and normal attacks for 744k crit. My god, yo, Kid Buu's like, yo, you're trying to show me up, trying to make this not about me? Yo, I'm gonna make this about me. This guy's trying to turn it into a Kid Buu showcase. Damn. <laughs> um, I'm actually not gonna get a super attack off of Kid Buu because I don't want him to kill the, the Vegito. So we're just gonna, I mean, it doesn't really matter if... Vegeta gets a super attack because he doesn't do much damage, but if Kid Buu is allowed to get a super off, he will be killing everybody in like one shot, right? Because that guy is actually that good. And I'm talking a lot about him, but I just want to give my boy some justice, okay? This Kid Buu is really, really solid. But anyways, this is not a Kid Buu showcase. This is, even though he's trying to turn it into a Kid Buu showcase, this is actually a Captain Ginyu showcase. So we're going to talk about him now. This Vegeta took, look, Vegeta took the hit for the, the what do you call it, super attack. Why, why did I forget how to say super attack? He took the super attack for 127k while Ginyu only took it for 85k. He doesn't even have his tanking passive active yet. So with that passive active, that would have been like a 40k tank. So that's actually not bad at all. Okay, um, I'm going to use a heal. Nope, that's an Icarus. We're going to use a heal here because we don't want to die in the middle of the showcase like I did. Like that happened in my first ever, uh, you know, attempt to, sh to film this showcase. And we are going to... Should we eat the Bura cookie here? Oh my god, who's ringing the doorbell? <laughs> okay, sorry about that guys. So I had to deal with some stuff at the door over there, but we're all good. We are back in business. So the real question here now is should we Debora cookie? And I think that we should. We have two cookies, right? So we can use one cookie right now and we'll use a cookie on the final stage as well. And uh, yeah, well, you know what? I don't have a good reason for it. I just want to do it. So let's do it. Oh, that is not the item. Here we go. Jabura cookie. Give us a lot of orbs. I want to see some nice, nice damage from my boy. What? 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 Yo, you guys just saw that, right? <laughs> you guys just saw that. I used the Jabura cookie and nothing changed. Literally nothing on the board changed. Yo, what does the Jabura cookie even do then? Randomly changes key spheres to physical key spheres. Effect does not stack when used more than once. This, this literally did nothing. Are you serious? Okay, well, uh, we're just gonna continue business as usual then, I guess. Hopefully the second... You know what? It's good that I brought two to Burrow Cookie, so maybe the second one will actually do something. <laughs> you guys ever see that? You guys ever have that happen to you where literally you use that Deboro Cookie and nothing happened? Because that is just what just happened to me and I, I, my mind is blown. 
538,000 crit. Solid. I'm still, like, triggered from <laughs> what that Devoro cookie just did to me. Anyways, uh, we are on the Vegito stage now. We're gonna have to be a little bit careful because uh, this guy does hit quite hard, so I'm gonna use an Icarus just in case since, you know, we, our, our main goal here is to showcase uh, Ginyu, and if we die, then we can't do that. So we're gonna go with the Buhan. Uh, I'm gonna go with some orbs for the Kid Boo, and then some orbs for the Frieza. All right, yo, Frieza. By the way, mine has no dupes. I only had one copy, but that's good enough for me. Because if you guys followed my journey trying to get him, it was over a thousand stones before I finally pulled him. So I'm just happy to have one copy right now. I'm not gonna complain about not having dupes for him. Um, and he's a monster, just like Kid Buu. Like I said, this extreme in team is really solid. The, with the Kid Buu, the Buhan Rainbow. When the Buhan is Rainbow, he actually does some nice damage and also heals you. And then obviously there's the in Golden Frieza who is a beast as well, does so much, so much damage. That's why I didn't get his super off because I knew that he was going to do some craziness and we don't want that right now. What we want is some craziness from this boy over here, Ginyu. I'm going to use another Deburo cookie and this time it better change some damn orbs. Let's go. Come on, do something. Okay. Yo, I swear, like, I, I paused for a second, I was like, yo, same thing's gonna happen again. Same thing's gonna happen again. <laughs> but no, we're fine, we're fine. It did change some orbs, so we're gonna see a little bit of nuking. Not a lot, it wasn't a lot of orbs, a little bit of nuking from Ginyu. And look at Ginyu tanking all these hits, man. Yo, look at all these double-digit hits that he's taking from LR Vegito. And he just crit the boy for 655k. Let's see, <laughs> let's see what this does. Let's see what he can tank this for. Hopefully under 100k, maybe... Wow! 62k, okay. Oh, it does the Deborah cookie increase defense as well? I thought it was just an attack. Well, I don't know. I don't know, whatever. That, those were nice numbers. Those are impressive numbers, that's all I'll say. And also he tanked the attack earlier, the super earlier for like 60k as well. I don't maybe? Yo, my memory is like very short. I have very bad short-term memory. So yeah, I, I, I remember him tanking fairly well before. So it looks like even without his passive active, this guy can still, you know, do some nice tanking for you. Now, um, we're going to, I mean, we're not anywhere close to dying, but I'm going to heal anyways because I have too many Senzu Beans and I'm okay with using more of them. <laughs> and also, just to be safe, just be safe because I don't want a repeat of what happened before. Okay. You see here, this is one of the main complaints about Kid Buu, is that he has absolutely no key links, right? So sometimes when there are no key supports on rotation, he's not going to be able to get a super off. And this is one of those examples. Kid Buu and Buhan actually happen to be perfect linking partners. They're like optimal linking partners. And he still can't get the super off. So that just shows you, that goes to show you um, how bad the key issue here is for Extreme Int right now. Um, can we get- Oh, okay, we, we have a chance to get a token attack off. Okay, this should do it. This should do it. Yes, okay, token attack with the boy Ginyu. Let's do it. Da 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 da. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, this is fast. This is fast. This is fast. Okay, we did it. <laughs> so far, three for three on all three showcases. I was a little bit nervous there, though. I was, I, I'll be honest. I was a little bit nervous there because um, it was moving faster than I was used to. Okay. Come on, Ginyu, give me a crit, give me some crazy numbers. Okay, that was not quite what I wanted, but I think that our Frieza boy should finish it off. Hopefully, hopefully, come on. Oh no, oh no, are we dead? Oh, we're not dead, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We can, we can, we can, we can do this, we can do this. Okay, <laughs> we're fine. We're fine, um, and I think that might just do it for this stage. I'm gonna Ghost Usher because, you know, he's gonna kill us otherwise. And I want these medals, just in case. I, I don't need the medals for anything right now, but just in case something comes out in the future that requires Vegito medals, you know, I wanna make sure that I have them handy, right? Now, I believe Kid Boo is actually gonna do some crazy damage here. So, even though it's not a Kid Boo showcase, you guys are gonna see some, some, some nice things. You know, just kind of like the peak of what Kid Buu can do. Or oh, maybe not the peak, if that was a critical, that would have been really nice. But hey, you know what? The guy has really high defense, so 852 or 53k or whatever that was is not bad. But anyways, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed my Captain Ginyu int free-to-play Captain Ginyu showcase rainbow status. 
um, you know, same as the other ones that I did for Burder and Goldo, and tomorrow I'll do one for Jace, I'll do one for Raccoon the next day, and then after they're all together, we're gonna do a Ginyu Forest team showcase as well. For the time being, that's gonna do it. Um, thank you to that guy for <laughs> having Int Kid Boo as his leader, by the way, because it took me forever to find an actual person to use to showcase him, but this is Captain Ginyu. He is very solid, really, really good substitute for Extreme Int if you need uh, you know, if you're missing one of those optimal ones, then definitely throw him in there and he will do some awesome things for you. Anyways, that's gonna do it for the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me and you like what you see, then maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But as always, you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs>